Hey, welcome to Black Coal Woodworking. My name's Matt. Today I'm making a cap from a staircase. What I'm using is a piece of 2x4, and I've drawn out what I need to cut out. A couple of chamfers and some notches, really. Start by just milling up the lumber so it's nice and flat. My process for that is the jointer on two sides, and then I use the planer to get the other two sides parallel and flat. And that works pretty well. You don't need to go to the table saw that way and I get nice and clean edges. After that, I set my table saw to 45 degrees, roughly. I cut a chamfer on both sides of the top of the cap. That way it's a little bit nicer for stepping on and you don't stub your toes. So far, so good. At least I was able to follow the lines. Next step was to set the height of the blade uh, just tall enough to cut a notch into the cap there so I can get the rest of my top done just like that and then I have to cut it off at the, the lowest point before I can put the rest of the notch in because my table saw blade isn't that tall and I don't want to cut something that big with the saw blade sticking out that far and so that's the other notch I needed to cut and I now have my cap essentially I was going to trim the bottom of that cap to have a 45 as well, but after I gave it some more thought, I decided against that. It's just going to be more work than I needed to do. So here I'm trimming it to final length, and I didn't set my blade high enough. I wanted to go really slow, not to cause it to chip. It ended up working out, but it was a little cranky for the wood. For me to get the stain to match our flooring, at least as close as I can, I'm using my usual ash and boiled linseed oil stain. Really, it's just dipping a paper towel into the boiled linseed oil and then getting some ash on that and just rubbing that all over the wood. And uh, Once that's all done, you kind of just rub it a few times if you want, just to get to the color you want. I think I did that here where... I maybe added a few more coats of boiled linseed oil just to lighten it up a bit because it started a bit dark. You can always add more after if you want to get some of that depth or darkness back. It all depends what you want to do. After adding ash though, you do have to take a clean paper towel and rub off all the excess. And that really gives it a much smoother look as well. And so that's what I'm doing here. The final step in my process is to wax the thing. And for me, that means I have a homemade mixture of one part beeswax to four parts boiled linseed oil. And I rub that all over this thing, and that seals the wood a little bit better and keeps that ash in there. The last step is to simply attach it to the floor, and I use some brad nails. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, throw me a comment, and if you haven't, Subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.